Hello, everyone, and good morning. Thank you for joining our webinar this morning, Confluence for Non-Tech Teams. This is the final in our Atlassian for Non-Tech Teams webinar series. Uh, we will be recording this webinar today, and we'll email you a link to the recording over the next few days. The email will also include a link to register for our next webinar. As you have questions, be sure to type those in the questions box of the GoToWebinar control panel. We'll get those queued up and we will try our best to answer all of them towards the end of this session. On the webinar today from Precipio Consulting, we have consultant Sam Bezozzi. Sam is joining us fresh off of some major client jobs where he helped non-tech teams implement and adopt Confluence. In addition to doing some great work with our clients, Sam is also a new Austin transplant, so we're really excited to have his expertise and his leadership in our headquarter office. And I'm Evan Perkins. I'm a sales consultant here at Precipio Consulting, and I'll be serving as your moderator this morning. Uh, I also work from our Austin headquarters, and when I'm not talking with folks about the awesomeness that is Atlassian, I'm hiking, I'm kayaking, or I'm taking a nap. A little bit about Percipio Consulting. We've been Atlassian expert partners for over six years now and are one of five platinum enterprise experts in the country. Over 99% of our projects are Atlassian related and we've helped uh, hundreds of clients across the globe ranging in size from 20 person companies to Fortune 20 enterprises spanning many different industries. We help our clients with process-centric technology solutions that facilitate traditional business process management, IT service management based on idle, and software development life cycles. In the SDLC space, we're helping clients transition from traditional waterfall to the agile methodology. So whatever widgets you produce, we help improve the quality and throughput at the lowest cost. We support our clients in all facets of the Atlassian product suite and build methodologies and solutions across the entire product line. So we can help with solutions architecting and implementations, licensing, upgrades and maintenance, managed hosting, managed services, integrations, add-on development, uh, and also training. And with that, I'd like to turn things over to Sam. Thanks, Evan. Good morning, y'all. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Samuel Bezozzi. I'm a consultant here at Percipio Consulting, and I'm also a certified Scrum Master with a background in process engineering. I've helped business teams across multiple industries use Confluence to work together more effectively. And as Evan alluded to in the introduction, I'm actually new to Texas and I've been working on improving my y'all, so bear with me, it's still a work in progress. Hopefully y'all had a chance to see Brian and Brendan's previous webinars in this series. They both did a wonderful job describing how Jira and other Atlassian products can be used for non-tech teams. So this webinar will be a deeper dive into Confluence specifically in a manner similar to how Brendan did with Jira. And we're going to go through how Confluence brings your team's ideas together, how collaboration through Confluence can make your teams more effective, how to advance the solution to get the full benefits of Confluence. We'll go through which areas of your organization can use it, how we've applied it, and at the end we'll have some time for your questions. To get started, we're going to talk through how Confluence sits at the center of our business processes and facilitates the vital collaboration that enables us to get work done. For those who aren't familiar with the word Confluence, it refers to the junction point between two rivers. And up until about the last century, rivers were vital channels for commerce and transportation. Similarly, Confluence acts as a meeting point for your teams to share ideas and information. There's a misconception out there that Atlassian tools are only for software teams. And while it's true that they're originally designed for software teams, in reality, they bring a lot of value to really teams in any function. Everywhere in your business, no matter the industry or department, there's some work that needs to be done. This is just a fact. Some work comes in, we do something to it, we add some value to it, and then afterwards we send it further downstream for someone else to do something, or maybe we send it out to the customer if it's finished. Confluence touches all three of these stages, enabling you to store and manage work coming in, edit and add value, both on your own or collectively with a group, and then afterwards send it to the next stage, whether it be another member of your team, 
another department, or finally to the customer. For those who have been on the previous webinars in this series, you may remember Jane, our marketing manager. As a refresher, Jane has a new marketing campaign starting in about a month now, and she needs a new graphic designer to support this campaign. The new hire is going to need to be up to speed by the time the campaign starts. Jane's apparently been trying to hire this graphic designer since we started the series on January 6th, so we'll go ahead and cut her a break for this webinar. and bring in Dante. Dante is coming into this new role with a lot of experience as a graphic designer, but he's still new to the organization and new to the marketing team, so he's got some learning to do. First of all, Dante is going to need onboarding training, such as list of tasks and how-tos to help him get ramped up. He'll also need information on the work habits of the group, uh, who to ask or where to look for information or administrative resources, so he'll need access to company information like what are our holidays? What are the roles within the company? When's the next big release that we need a go-to-market plan for?